Hi, I'm Steve Adubato. This is One on One. We're coming to you from the Agnes Vera studio at NJTV. It is our honor and pleasure to talk leadership with Amani Jennings, Dean of Students, Georgian Court University. Good to yeah. see you. Good to be seen. Good to see you. You, know, you and your colleagues focus on leadership a lot, the concept of being a servant leader. What does it mean? Servant leadership is a term that was coined in the 70s by Robert Greenleaf. And essentially, servant a servant leader is a, a leader who is servant first. So the question that a servant leader is asking him or herself is, do those I'm serving grow? Are they being served? Are they wiser? Are they healthier? A servant leader um, is looking to serve the needs of those that he or she is serving mm. before considering the leadership aspect. That's so it's hard. servant first. It is. It, it requires is. empathy. Compassion, what Dr. Daniel Goldman calls yeah. emotional intelligence. Emotional right? intelligence, absolutely. Easier said than done? Um, absolutely easier said than done. But we believe at Georgian Court that, you know, because not only we're we trying to uh, teach these skills um, so that these students can have great experiences while they're in college, but these are also skills that translate into the workplace. Um, we know there's a ton of research that speaks to employers. They are looking for graduates to not only have the skill sets, to have the degree that they want in that particular field, they want them to have internship experience, but they also want them to have leadership experience. And that's because, you know, leadership experience speaks to all of those intangibles that uh, a degree in biology may not. You know, we know that if someone has leadership skills and ability and, and experience, that that person can communicate, that person can articulate, that person can meet challenges, face challenges. You can put that person in a room of people mm -hmm. and they can navigate and network. So those are skills. So even with our servant leadership initiatives, it's not just us looking to create a great environment while they're on campus. We're looking to develop students who are going to be able to compete in the workforce. You know, it's interesting, uh, the concept uh, of leadership. Sure. Studying, thinking about it, writing about it, teaching it. Mm -hmm. And also this will be seen on our podcast radio show, uh, Leadership Hour. Check that out. What I'm curious about is your opinion. I ask a lot of people about this. I want to ask you, do you believe the greatest leaders, greatest servant leaders, born, made, what? I think it's a combination of, of both. I think generally I do not think that leaderships, I, I do think that leaders can be made. I don't think only leaders are, are born. I think you can be trained and taught to be a leader. You do? Um, I do. So people like Dr. King, mm -hmm. right? Um, we actually have a program, our Stand and Deliver Leadership Development Program, honors someone every year with the Dr. Martin Luther King Leadership Award. And I often think about Dr. King, the gift that he had to communicate, to connect with others. Yeah. And I think he also came from a background in the church. And I yeah. thought, was he born to do that? I'm part, yeah. But look how much he learned in his only th th short 39 years about leadership from mistakes he made, right? Yeah. Kind of and Dr. King, to me, is, is, is uh, probably... Uh, personifies servant leadership. Absolutely. And um, so there were certain things that he, I think, certain skills he had that he was probably born with. I mean, there are a lot of great leaders, but how many great leaders can, can, can speak as eloquently as Dr. King? So I think there were some skills that he had that were just innate. But, the, um, but if you know the history behind the scenes, some of the things that were going on, mm -hmm. You know, uh, leadership was not something that came easy to him. It a lot was, of people it was difficult. Him. A, lot a lot of people, people did not want him to be step. the leader. Absolutely. You know, had to, didn't believe in his approach. People, didn't. We forget that a lot of times, right? Yeah. I mean, when he, during the time of his death, he had his own followers who were saying that he was not doing enough. You had a certain segment of the black community who felt that he was doing too much or that his approach was not where it should have been. There were people who said, don't be talking about the, the Vietnam, Vietnam War. War. Stay Absolutely. out of that. It's not your Absolutely. business. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, and now we that. praise him. Help us on this. There's a Servant Leadership Summit, and it is, in fact, connected to Dr. King's birthday, right? Correct. The Servant Leadership Summit grew out of our Leadership Summit, which is our MLK Day of Service. Um, but we are now kind of moving towards focusing on Servant Leadership, so moving forward, it will be a Servant Leadership Summit. Um, but that is something that we do annually at Georgian Court. Um, this year, we had about 100 students, um, our own students, and we had about five other schools that sent representatives to come and join us. It wasn't the best day weather-wise, so there were a few schools who just were not able to make it. Um, but it was an awesome day. We had a keynote speaker. We had workshops. We did service activities and had a service fair. So it was, um, it was a great day. Before I let you go. Sure. In Washington. By the way, check out State of Affairs and Think Tank, our other two series, to talk about Washington and Trenton and politics and policy. Leadership, great leadership, great mm. servant leadership, hard to find in Washington these days. So the question is this, is it more important than ever before that you get your students ready? Well, that's exactly why we're focusing on servant leadership, because, you know, uh, a few uh, 
a couple years ago when there were a lot of protests on campus, mm. um, the, a lot of hate groups showing up on college campuses. We had a town hall meeting at Georgian Court. I had an honor of serving on that meeting, on that town hall group with uh, President Marbach. And one President of the questions, Joe Marbach, Dr. Marbach. Joe Marbach, absolutely. And one of the questions, he was a political scientist by background. Yes. So he was able to talk to a lot about um, constitutional law and, and freedom of speech and those kind of things. And a question that came up was, how can we speak out against some of what we're seeing, some of the hate and the darkness that's being um, that we're seeing more of? And my answer was, and my answer is, servant leader, servant leadership. If we can train our students to be listeners, to have empathy, self-awareness, build communities, commitment to others. Um, and then unleash them into society, um, I think that, that we'll, we'll all be the better for that. Amani Jennings is uh, Dean of Students at Georgian Court University. I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you. Well said. This is One on One. I'm Steve Adubato. We'll be right back. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 30 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, the Northward Center, New Jersey Sharing Network, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, the New Jersey Office of the Insurance Fraud Prosecutor, and by St. Joseph's Health. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.